Hey friends, Grandmaster Brown here. Uh, people work so hard to accomplish something and then when it's uh, almost completed, they say, you know what, that's good enough. Never realizing how much better they can do or how much further they could go, how much more they can improve. A saying I've heard from several of my instructors over the years, the enemy of greatness is good enough. And it's kind of like when you say, okay, that's good enough. You're not getting any better at it now, are you? All right, when I was a kid, I had some really amazing martial arts instructors, and one in particular, after many years, I got to a point that I had learned 100% of his taught material. I maybe wasn't his best student, I probably was uh, not super fast at every technique, but in my youthful excitement, I thought I was good because I knew and could perform every technique. As a kid, I thought that that was what I was there for. I had my black belt and I was hungry to learn more. But my instructor suggested I now start helping teach. I was not interested. When I asked how I could learn more, he jokingly suggested, well, you could go to Japan. And I thought he was serious and I was sure I could learn more if I did so. And so I went to Japan. In Japan, I realized again that I had learned and I was capable of performing 100% of the material. I asked my grandmaster there, what was next for me? He replied, now you should teach. This again. I was a punk kid and I had little interest in teaching. I wanted to learn more, but I didn't realize that their suggestion was going to accomplish what I wanted. What they were suggesting was for my benefit. When you teach something, you must break it down to the smallest detail in your own mind before presenting it to others. This gives the instructor a very intricate knowledge of the techniques, a depth beyond what the student and what my teenage self could possibly understand. In college, I remember being in a study group where we each taught uh, the whole group a chapter of the material. I then found that on the test, I was only exceptional on the material I actually taught to the group. This made me realize I learned best from teaching. So I started teaching my dog everything I was learning. Not that he understood, but it was very beneficial for me to get my degree. Martial arts is the same. We become much more detail oriented and much more proficient from the process of teaching it to others. It was really just a matter of not knowing what I didn't know. 42 years of teaching later, I think I might be beginning to get it, maybe. Now I know what I don't know. But no matter what belt rank I earn, I will always be a white belt, always learning, and I try very hard to keep that white belt excitement with everything that I do so that I'll continue to learn and grow. It's important for every student of every subject, martial arts or otherwise, to keep a curious mind, stay humble, and be open to learning more, even from the most unlikely of sources. See you in the training floor. Grandmaster out.